We're rolling. Coach Clifton, we're rolling. Thank you. Welcome to the 2022 Spring Varsity Awards Night. As the hot weather arrives and we start to focus on finishing the school year, it's my honor to celebrate our final Varsity Awards Night presentation this evening with all of you. It is hopeful that this will be our last virtual presentation and we look forward to in-person celebrations during the 2021-22 school year. And we're very excited about that. At some schools, it's a foregone conclusion that you sign up for a sport, you attend a few practices, and you're given a varsity letter. But at Governor Livingston High School, we celebrate excellence and hard work, so it's truly an earned GL varsity letter. You've competed against some of the most talented scholar athletes in the state of New Jersey, and that's just at practice at Governor Livingston. So congratulations on this well-deserved honor. I'd like to take this moment to thank all of some special people that have helped assist you in achieving this honor. The first group I'd like to thank this evening are your parents and family members. It's been exciting to see your parents and family members support you unconditionally, whether it was completing your daily questionnaire or handling, handing in the ever handling the ever changing spectator pro protocols. And trust me, we are on quite a topsy turvy trip during the uh, changes. Ash, you want to mute all that? <laughs> or, uh, once again, whether it was completing your daily questionnaire or handling the ever changing spectator protocols, or cheering you on in a hard fought victory, or offering a hug during a tough loss, your parents and family members have been there for you throughout this entire season, this entire achievement. So please make sure you take the time to thank them. Second group of special people I'd like to recognize tonight is your coaches. I'm honored to work with such a dedicated and committed group of coaches. They're very caring and always looking for methods to make the Highlander athletic experience the best. Thank you, and I know our student athletes have gained valuable life lessons they will carry with them throughout the rest of their lives. Finally, I'd like to thank our administration for the support of the athletic program. The pride that is shared by our community and our athletics teams is as strong as any high school and is a privilege to be part of such a great, wonderful experience. Dr. Varley, the Board of Education, and especially the Athletic Committee have been strong advocates for the Highlanders competing throughout this entire pandemic. They were stewards of our programming and have always kept the needs of our student athletes competing in the forefront. So thank you very much for all of your support. I'd like to now start our presentation with the first team being honored tonight and our golf team coached by Sharon Leahy. Fortunately, Coach Leahy is una unable to be here tonight. She has the wonderful task of grading the national AP history exams, but she was able to prepare a video and it's embedded in the next slide. So here we go. This year's golf team was very excited to return to play and accomplish its three main goals, stay healthy, improve, and have fun. The team was led by veteran seniors, Chris Kakamo and Evan Accardi, and was joined by newcomer, Jason Lalladay. The season was marked by continual improvement and great progress. In fact, the team average dropped 25 strokes in matches over the course of the season. One great match highlight included a close victory over New Providence. In the conference tournament, the team finished sixth overall, and Chris Kakamo and Tomas Burke finished in the top 20. In the county tournament, Evan Accardi finished in the top 10. The team's goal to have fun was marked by continual pizza reviews, limbo tips, and the team's final one club challenge. Congratulations on a great season. Now I'd like to uh, just share for a moment, these are some of our uh, golf senior student, or senior, actually student athletes. Just wanted to include them in a picture. And now on to our golf letter winners. And the letter winners. First year letter winners, freshman Christian Sabatino, Hank Slotwinski, and sophomore Teddy Scalora. Second year letter winners, sophomores Jason Bach, Braden Kakamo, TJ Pappas, and senior Jason Lalladay. Third year letter winners, junior Tomas Burke, and senior Evan Accardi, and fourth year letter winner senior, Chris Kakamo. Congratulations again on a great season. Thank you, Coach Leahy. 
It is now my honor to introduce our boys tennis team and coach Joey Panchenko. Good evening, administration. Our athletic director, Ms. Ann Clifton, coaches, players, parents, and guests. A special thanks to Ms. Ann Clifton for all the hard work she has done for the program. A lot of behind the scenes work that has been appreciated by us for putting this together. Her assistant, Ms. Ashley Reedy, for helping us get organized with all that we needed to do. Thanks to Mr. Todd Hirsch for all of the preseason screening that needed to be done in order for the boys to be eligible to participate this season. Thanks to Mr. Michael Scarra for helping with this virtual presentation and all the challenges that it presented. Thanks to our tennis moms, Ms. O'Brien and Ms. Sanders, who over the past season helped out whenever called upon, including organizing our banquet, taking team pictures, uniform distribution, supplying us with the things that we needed, organizing and supporting our team. We are happy to gather virtually tonight to commemorate the achievements of our players. We had a good year despite losing nine seniors last year and six of them were starters. As a team, we finished with a respectable nine and nine record, finishing seventh in the county tournament overall and making the quarterfinals in the state tournament, beating Parsippany Hills 4-1 en route. We are here to honor our athletes, especially our senior co-captains, Alan Dew and Samir Narendran. At first singles, Alan won two thirds of his matches, which is very difficult to do at that position facing state level competition and the best player on the opposing team every time. Samir was often key at third singles for winning several deciding matches for us this year. Right from the start of practice, they led the team in warmups and set the standard by their example on and off the court. Both Allen and Samir's biggest win this year came against Cranford, where both won tight matches and led us to a victory against them. At second singles, we had Nathan Leposki, and he helped us this year in the state tournament with a big win over Parsippany Hills. At first doubles, we had Vibhav Chaturverdi and Daniel Koziel. Both were new to starting at varsity this year and had a big win against Oratory Prep. We look forward to their success next year. At second doubles, we had Joseph Leposki and Treas Agnihotri. They played well this year and we look forward to them playing next year. Also, we had Aaron Chahill, Matthew Lee and Justin Liu filling in for us in a reserve role and they did very well. My assistant, Andrew Helfridge, to whom I am grateful for, who made the practices possible by getting there early, screening the boys and getting them started with drills. We want to wish everybody the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. We will miss all of you. Without further ado, here are your varsity letter winners, starting with the underclassmen. First year letter winners, freshman Vibhav Chaturverdi, Joseph Leposki, Justin Liu, sophomore Shreyas Agni Hotri, juniors Aaron Chahill, Nathan Leposki, Matthew Lee, and senior Samir Narendran. Second year letter winner, junior Daniel Koziel, and fourth year letter winner, Alan Dew. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Greatly appreciated. The next team we'll honor tonight will be our 2021 Union County champions, the baseball team, and coach Chris Roof. Chris, it's all yours. Hi, uh, I would first like to uh, congratulate all the spring athletes on a great season. Uh, I really want to give a shout out to the softball team. Uh, they had a great run uh, again to the county final and to the semifinals and with such a young team, really looking forward to what these girls can do next year. Um, I'd also like to thank our athletic director, Ms. Ann Clifton, who does so much for all of us and I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, our secretary, Ashley Reedy, who is unbelievable. Um, our trainer, Todd Hirsch, our GL administration and board of education, uh, our groundskeeper, Antonio, and last but not least, who put, helped put this together, Mr. Mike Scarra, who's a rock star. The Governor Livingston baseball team enjoyed another successful season this spring. The fact that we actually played baseball was a huge accomplishment after what happened last spring for everybody. The Highlanders finished with an 18 and six record with four of its six losses coming by one run. Late in the season, we were, we were ranked as high as 13th in the state by NJ.com baseball. The biggest achievement of the season was that we won the Union County Tournament Championship 
defeating rival Westfield High School 16 to six at Williams Field in Elizabeth. This was the third overall county championship for the Highlanders and the third in the last five years and something that I'm obviously very proud of being an alum. After a weather delay that suspended the game, we came back the next day in the bottom of the fifth and it only took about three batters, maybe six, seven minutes and a Freddie Truncali double to right center and we walked off Westfield 10 running them. The team was led by captains Jason Schmidt, Michael Schaefer, and Jack Pyrus. We had eight outstanding senior leaders that led this team day in and day out and showed the other Highlander players how we do things on the hill. With 10 returning players next season, the Highlanders will again set their sights on competing for a conference, county, and state title. Individual honors go out to seniors Jack Pires, Brian Bazidlo, Michael Schaefer, and Matt Morawski for making the top 100 North-South Senior All-Star Game. That will be played at Diamond Nation tomorrow night. So if you guys aren't doing anything, come out and please support. I also would like to talk about junior Michael Labisi, sophomore John Schmidt, and freshman Matthew Kasuda who, uh, for making the Quad County Underclass All-Star Game representing Union County. That game will be played on June 29th at North Brunswick Community Park. On to our award winners. Okay, here we go. First year letter winners, freshman Matthew Kasuda. Sophomores, George Provell, John Schmidt, and Jonathan Schmidt. Juniors, Dan Bass, Robert Murphy, Patrick Tulo. Senior, Ryan Gissing. For our managers first year, Gabby DeRose, Jacqueline Filiacci, and Carly Tulo. Second year letter winners, juniors, Nick Gold, Michael Labisi, seniors, second year letter winners, Brian Bazillo, Gavin Malave, Jack Pires, Freddie Truncali. Also manager, Sophie Rittenhouse. Third year letter winners, seniors, Matty Morawski, Jason Schmidt and Michael Schaefer. With that, I'm done. Thank you and best of luck. Everybody have a wonderful summer. Thank you, Coach Roof. The next team we'll honor tonight is our softball team and Coach Aaron Lanigan. It's all yours, Aaron. Okay, great, thank you. Good evening, parents, student athletes and administrators and thank you for being here tonight. While we are still living in a Zoom world, I want to first say how awesome it has been to see every single athlete out there this spring making up for last year's canceled one. A few quick thank yous before I begin. To the Board of Ed, our Booster Club, thank you for your continued support of our student athletes. To our administration, Mr. Nixon, Mrs. Oliveira, Mrs. Bartlett, and Dr. P, thank you for always supporting our student athletes over the years. To our trainer, Todd, for keeping our kids healthy and getting them back on the field as quickly as possible. To Ms. Clifton, for supporting each and every student athlete and their coaches. To her secretary, Ashley Reedy, for being so organized, keeping us coaches up to date, and all the behind the scenes tasks she does to move our seasons along seamlessly. To our parents, our biggest fans, we appreciate your support over the years and allowing us to coach your daughters. To the other spring coaches, I appreciate you all, your open communication and being able to work alongside all of you. As always, an extra shout out to Coach Roof for your continued support your daily advice, picking up the phone when I call all the time, and giving up gyms on numerous occasions this year just to let my girls practice inside when we needed it most. Thank you always, and I appreciate your friendship. The biggest thank you to my assistant coaches, Casey Warswick and Amanda Merton, for your help with our JV program, working with the girls each and every day to get them to the next level, and for your presence at every single varsity game, event, and practice, assisting with whatever I asked of you. Chris Eckert, who coaches the middle school team at Deerfield, for your help during preseason, night games, county and state tournaments, whenever your schedule allowed you to be present, we always appreciate the extra help. To Rick Ortega, my varsity assistant, by my side every step of the way, I value your time and your effort put into this program, your advice, the way you help each and every player in the program, and most importantly, your friendship. Tonight, we are honoring 17 varsity letter winners. Our record was 16 and 10, where we are 10 and 4 at home and we are 6 and 6 on the road. With the season starting a month later than usual, we knew we had to get to work quickly. We had 24 games on the season and our weeks were certainly jam-packed. 
we set some small goals from the start and we built on those goals as we moved along. First and foremost, we wanted to stay healthy and be safe and play as much softball as we possibly could. We wanted to do well in our conference where we ended 10 and six. We wanted to work hard to earn a good seed for the county tournament. And while we weren't necessarily happy with the fifth seed being our takeaway, it ended up working in our favor, making it to the county finals. We wanted to advance in the state tournament where we also took fifth and we did and make it, made it to the Central Jersey group two semifinals. We hit the ground running on our opening week and we went three and zero, followed by a week that handed us some tough losses. We regrouped, we needed to do better, play better softball and not hang our heads low. We rallied, continued to battle day in and out, picking up wins along the way while also hitting some bumps in the road. It was halfway through our season when all the pieces started to fall together. We were playing solid softball, we were having fun, and most importantly, these girls were coming together as a team. We picked each other up after error or a tough at bat. We were supporting each other and we were holding our heads high. We played an undefeated Brearley team, giving them their first loss on the season. We won our first round of the county tournament against Scotch Plains. Prior to the second round, we played under the lights at Deerfield and Mountainside to honor our three graduating seniors with our senior night event. We traveled to Union for the quarterfinals, beating them 10-0 and advancing to the semifinals. Union had beaten us earlier in the season, so that win felt extra good. Brearley upset Westfield, which meant we were matched up against them one more time, and we knew they were not happy with us already breaking their 11-0 winning streak. We got to hand them their second loss on the season with an exciting 3-1 win, sending us to the county finals. We faced a tough Cranford in a true pitcher's duel, and although we came up short that night, we played hard from the very first to the very last out. They knew they belonged there, they knew they deserved it, and they knew they earned it, and they did it together as a team, and now they know what they're reaching for next season when we get there again. We had a couple days with a long Memorial weekend to take in that loss and let it sting a little, but we knew that we were right back to work with the state tournament underway, winning our first game at home against East Brunswick Tech followed by another home game versus a very good Monmouth regional team, allowing them only one hit on the day and winning one nothing in the bottom of the seventh, sending us to one seated board in town, not once, but twice due to the weather we've been having. We lost that game 6-5 in the bottom of the seventh. We lost to a team that was 17-1, and a team that after the game approached us to tell us we were the best competition they've seen all season, that for the first time all season, they got nervous when we went ahead 5-2 in the sixth, because they only had five runs scored on them total up to that point in the season. We put five on the board in just one inning. It was unfamiliar territory for them. We lost, we were upset, I know I still am, but the most important thing is we got there, we showed up and we proved that we belong there. You girls played with heart, you played with drive, and most importantly, you had fun doing it. You left it all out on the field last Thursday, walking away, knowing we've got even bigger goals next year and we've got work to do. We started this season with those small goals and we built on them, achieving more than I think anyone originally thought that we could. I'm so very proud of this group of young ladies. To all the girls in the program, thank you for the hard work you put in each and every day. To our graduating seniors, as well as other senior athletes here tonight, best of luck as you graduate, head off to college or the workforce. To those continuing in their athletic career, good luck. To all the athletes who still have time left here at GL, we'll see you on the fields next year and enjoy the moments because it certainly goes by all too fast. And now for our 2021 softball letter winners, first year letter winner, freshman Gianna Basile and Emma McElroy, sophomores Elise Faxon, Kate Grinelli, Kelly Hanratty, Savannah Levine, Anna Popola, and Kaylee Zazali, juniors Anna Fiamingo, Tara Lake, Kristen McConaughey, Leanna Santos, and Julia Zuzowski. Seniors, Lauren Hopti, Avery Sullivan, Katie Tavares, and third year letter winner, junior Lauren Keeswetter. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Lanigan. It is now my honor to introduce the next team tonight, which will be our 2021 NJILL Clank Division champions, the boys lacrosse team and coach Provisano. Hey, everybody. It's so great to be here tonight. And uh, I would love to thank all the people at the school, the principal, the superintendent, especially Ann Clifton, Ashley, Kelly, who runs our buses, and the, the guru of all trainers, Todd Hirsch. Can't thank you guys enough. I've been up here 10 years, and, and all you other coaches have seen me around now for 10 years. The support I've gotten here 
Now I've been the head coach here for three years, you know, two years really because of the pandemic. I can't thank you all enough for making me part of this huge family at GO. I'd also like to thank my coaches, Coach Doug Voigt, Coach Don, John D. Pasquale, and Coach Kevin Fontana, who I believe is going to be the new uh, head soccer coach, I believe. Um, and I wish them all the best. And of course, the parents. To have me uh, with your kids every day with my coaching staff. We're having so much fun. Um, it's been an amazing run. And we finally got something that we've never done before at GL for the lacrosse program. We got a banner in going up in the gym. And I've been here 10 years. and It's been something that's been under my crawl that I can't believe finally this year we achieved a goal that was attainable, but we finally attained it. And I can't thank my senior class of 12 amazing seniors with a, who took a bunch of kids under their wings, um, having a bunch of sophomores, freshmen, and some juniors, you know, really taking the task this year to get us where we had to go. Uh, my two captains, well, my, actually my three captains, Luke Stallone in the goal, amazing. Um, Ryan Nicklich and uh, Matthew Chin, we picked them out as, as sophomores and they were going to be our junior captains. Now they became our senior captains. An amazing job. Matt Chin went down and we got play at a Colin Tripp, a sophomore. So, you know, next man up, lacrosse or any sport of all you coaches, you know, no. It's you got to have some backup plan. And we've had an amazing backup plan. I have to thank my team moms. Amazing job. Um, just making sure we had our a banquet last night went amazing. And to all my parents, I mean, that to be up here and have the backing I've gotten up here from the whole school, you know, from Ann to Todd and the parents have been totally amazing. Um, and we're Clank winners. We finally got a banner. So here we go. We're going to get another one. We're going to keep adding to those years. I'm following all you guys that have them there. So it's nice to be the first coach at GL to get a banner in the lacrosse world. I thank you all. And for our letter winners, first letter winner this year, um, freshman Michael Chifa, Brett Peer, sophomores Gerald D. Pesquale, Aiden Lindy, Kyle Mott, Colin Tripp, juniors Sebastian Gratzen, Joseph Riggi, Kevin Rodriguez, second year letter winners, seniors Jason House, Thomas Hoy, Robert Mathis, Matthew Rongo, Kyle Sol Solisanti, third year letter winners, uh, Massimo Bagliani, Jack Grinelli, Ryan Nikolic, and fourth year gold letter winners. Seniors, Matthew Chin, Blake Januzzi, Nick Richel, Luke Stallone, and our manager who went down, he was a freshman, came manager, Carter Wallers, manager, first year. Thank you guys. And we finally got a banner. Let's go. Let's get more. Thank you so much. Thank you, coach. The next team we'll honor tonight is our outdoor track teams. I'd like to send a special congratulations to our boys team for winning the 2021 Union County Conference Mountain Division Championship. So it was a great team effort and uh, our coaches matched up everyone up uh, perfectly. And I, I want to congratulate the team for that wonderful effort. Dan Guyton, here we go. Thanks coach. Uh, good evening. I want to start by congratulating all the other athletes and coaches tonight on a terrific season. I want to thank my assistant coaches, Lisa Dybar, Chris Coglin, Mike Alleman, Carmen Scuderi, Greg Dunkernan, uh, Burl Roman, and Joe Hubert. Uh, I have a tremendously dedicated and caring coaching staff, and I can't thank them enough for all that they do. Uh, I want to thank all the parents for all their help and support this season, uh, especially our Booster Club moms, uh, Mrs. Saya and Mrs. Brown. Uh, I want to especially thank Mrs. Brown for organizing our senior pizza party. And thanks to Mrs. Tarabokey, uh, Tarabokia for that uh, amazing cake. Uh, I want to thank our 
tra uh, our athletes for their great attitude and tremendous work ethic this season. Obviously, it was another odd season uh, where, you know, we started late and had a modified early schedule. I felt like, you know, after what happened last spring, we all had a greater appreciation for just being able to, to compete. And it felt so good uh, to be together as a team again. Um, it was wonderful that we were able to compete in the full schedule of championship meets. I feel extremely blessed, and I'm just praying that after five straight seasons of this, you know, letter words on Zoom, that next time, you know, it's in person. Um, the highlights for the girls' team uh, this season included Reagan Hopek and Shannon Hunt finishing third in the pole vault at the county relays. Uh, Shannon then went on to win the conference championship mountain division and qualified for the group two state championships where she had a personal record jump of nine feet. Uh, also qualifying for the prestigious group two championship meet was our girls four by eight team comprised of Mia Maselli, Molly Burke, Emma San Antonio, and Samantha Richter. Um, also qualifying was our girls four by 100 team. Uh, comprised of Mia, uh, Caroline Freer, Sophia Zecca, and Ali Post. Uh, we have a we have a young girls team, and you know we're really really excited for next spring, and you know the future is is very bright with the girls program. Um, for the for the boys, our highlight of the year was our team placing first at the conference championships and taking home the Mountain Division title. Um, going in, if you see to the meet. Uh, I believe that the favorite was New Providence. And um, we put together a total team effort. Uh, Tara Bokia won the disc. Joey Frank won the 16. Cody, Pian, and Rafe went two, four, and five in the hurdles. Burkow was second in the jab. Marinko took second in the 32. Coach Dunk uh, taught Sabino, Lugo, and Basil to vault two days before the meet. And they cleared opening height, and they scored. Uh, Basil and Mika went two, three in the high jump. And the four by four team, not knowing they were up 30 points in the meet, ran second, uh, six seconds faster uh, than their previous seed, upsetting New Providence on our home track to seal it. And uh, after everything we've been through, uh, the scene with Terabok, you're running on the track to celebrate uh, is something I'll never forget. You know, he's a thrower, so he's not normally on the track. <laughs> and um, at sectionals, Alex Mika advanced in the high jump, uh, jumping five feet, 10 inches. Uh, Bryce Facey advanced in long jump with a 20-plus uh, foot jump. And Connor Splain advanced in shot put, increasing his personal best by four feet. Your 2021 Central Group 2 sectional discus champion is Nicholas Terabokia with a throw of 140 feet. Uh, the highlight at the Group 2 state championships was our 4 by one team comprised of both Mika brothers, Facey and Savino, placing third. Um, I... I, I believe this is the highest we've ever placed in the four by 100 in the state meets. And uh, like I said, it's a total team. We winning attitude uh, by both the girls and boys teams this season. And we couldn't be prouder. Uh, and now on to our letter winners. First year letter winners, freshman this year, Hazarika. Aiden Key. Patrick McGrath. Ethan Moon, sophomores, Daniel Burkow, Basil Castrovinci, Jared Lee, Gregory Lugo, Alex Mika, Shane Morrison, Patrick Sheehan, Daniel Wellen, uh, Junior Charles Santori, Senior Daniel, uh, Daniel Marinko. Second year letter winners, sophomores, uh, Joseph Frank, Benjamin Young, uh, juniors, Gabriel Piccinini, Alex Pitt, and now our third year letter winners, juniors, Bryce Facey, Chris Marinko, and Kyle Safey, and our seniors, Cody Brown, Avery Kern and Nicholas Martinez and our fourth year letter winners, seniors, Ray Farnham, uh, Christopher Mika, Jason PN, 
Matthew Saya, Connor Splain, and Nicholas Terabokia. Thank and you, Coach. You, wonderful job and wonderful job of put, putting our teams in a place to uh, to win championships. So congratulations. It's my honor now to introduce the last team we'll honor tonight, and that's our girls lacrosse team and head coach, Chloe Griffin. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. We have our we have our girls to do yet. Excuse me. Yeah, I was going to. So sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'm done with Zoom. All right. <laughs> I hear you. All right. Uh, now for our girls, outdoor track letter winners. Uh, first year letter winners, freshman, uh, Ashlyn Brown, Abigail Ha, Mia Maselli, and Samantha Richter. Uh, sophomores, Molly Burke, Caroline Freer, Connolly Jacqua, Lauren McCauley, Darcy Monahan, Ava Rinal and Emma San Antonio, and juniors, Elizabeth Chin, and Reagan Hopek. Our second year letter winners, sophomores, Georgia, Chris Anthopoulos, Landry Lorne, Kendall Torres, Sophia Vega, juniors, Isabella Toth, and Sophia Zecca, and senior, Leah Gould. And our third year letter winners, juniors, Alyssa Batone, Ali uh, Allison Post, Lily Ziska, Lillian Stewart, and Katie Wang. And, uh, seniors, Deanna DeFranzo and Shannon Hunt. And our fourth year letter winner, uh, senior Christina LaRock. And uh, our manager, junior Emily Raddick. Thanks, Coach. Everybody, hope everybody has a great evening. Thank you to Coach Guyton. Uh, now, yes, on to our final team tonight, and that will be our girls across team coach and coach Chloe Griffin. Chloe, it's all yours. Hi, everyone. Um, I would like to start off by thanking the administration for how hard they worked and continue to work this season to make sure that we were able to compete and do so safely. Um, I would also like to thank athletic director Ann Clifton for always being such an amazing advocate for coaches and athletes. She helped take so much stress off of this season from us and I and nav navigate everything and I can't thank you enough. I'd um, like to thank our amazing trainer, Todd Hirsch, for always making sure our athletes are safe and healthy. Ashley Reedy for helping me organize everything I have to do in my brain. Um, my assistant coaches, Jackie Wells and Stephanie Sorez for helping instill the love of girls across in our kids and help grow our program. Um, lastly, I wanna thank our parents for their ongoing support of their daughters and our program. We appreciate you endlessly making things work, getting your daughters to and from practice, filling out COVID waivers every day, buying endless amounts of GL lacrosse gear and cheering us on when we need it the most, especially during this unusual season. Um, and our delayed season, you have been a huge support to us and we cannot thank you enough. Um, this was not an easy season for our program and others as well, coming out of a global pandemic, um, missing preseason, navigating health screening surveys, quarantining, uh, managing excessive hand washing, sanitizing, wristbands, temperatures, everything. Um, the list goes on. However, we were able to adapt and make the most of it and make the most of our opportunity to get out on the field and play. I know that we were just grateful to be on the lacrosse pitch, playing the game that we love. Um, led this year by captains Mia McGuire, Kelsey Distasto, Emily Haynes, and Gianna Chichimara. Um, I'm so proud of how our young program took to the challenges they had through Zoom workouts, Google Classroom practices, virtual communications, and finally being able to be out on the field. I watched this team grow stronger and more resilient. While we may not have had the season stats we wished for, finishing with nine wins and nine losses and finishing fifth in our conference, we were able to hit some great milestones along the way. We had a player, Mia McGuire, reach her 100th point and become just the seventh Highlander to record her 100th goal. We had a freshman, Maria DePascal, break our freshman goalie record um, with 71 saves and a junior, Gianna Chichamara, break the record for cause turnovers in a season with 37. But most importantly, I saw these girls band together and make sure we had the best odds at completing our season. 
even though we missed our preseason, these girls still found a way to bond together and become more than just a team. I wish my seniors the best of luck next year and cannot get wait get cannot wait to get started on next season. I am so very proud through everything completing our final season or our full season to announce your 2021 girls across varsity letter winners. First year letter winners, freshmen, Maria De Pascal, Claire Gian, Megan Kim, and Isabella Nappi. Second year letter winners, sophomore, Arden McDonald, juniors, Danny Kang, Caitlin Paliwoda, Jaden Rigge, Holiday Woodard. Third year letter winners, juniors, Julia Byrne, Gianna Chichamara, Lauren Paprocki, and senior Julia Ramondi. And my four year letter winners, seniors and captains, Kelsey DeSasto, Emily Haynes, and Mia McGuire. I hope you guys have a great night. Good luck, seniors. We will desperately miss you. See you next season. Thank you, coach. You know, I just want to um, extend a few thank yous. I'm just going to go back for a second, if you don't mind. But if you noticed uh, down the bottom of, of every single screen, um, we require our coaches to submit um, an audio just in case there's any technology problems. So I want to thank our coaches for doing that. Trust me, there's not a person on our staff um, that would not want us to meet in person. And I truly hope this is the last uh, virtual presentation that we, we ever have to do. Um, we, we greatly enjoy being in person and celebrating all of our accomplishments, but we also understand and recognize that, you know, putting 300 people in a bleacher uh, in the auditorium may not have been the best decision at this point. Um, and uh, we appreciate the support of our, our parents and understanding that and our student athletes of understanding that. We look forward to, you know, the future of us meeting in person and congratulating each other. Um, I want to thank uh, Ashley Reedy. As, as many have said, you are um, truly been able to pull this all together. And I, I greatly appreciate um, just your time and effort and doing everything that we can do to uh, make our athletic program the best it can be. I want to thank Kelly Sheehan, the last minute coordination. Um, you know, day or night, she picks a phone up for us. And, and um, people also don't seem to understand, but with the protocols, we had to coordinate for every level that went out, a bus went out. So in the past, whether JV and varsity could be together, there were times that we were sending 12 to 14 buses out at one time and Kelly did it seamlessly. Also want to thank uh, Mike Scarra. You know, we had six versatile awards nights this year. Um, I did happen to think uh, Dan, Dan is on most of them. There's some think he didn't have to be on, but Mike Scarra has been on all of them and Ashley has been on all of them and I've been on all of them. And I, I greatly, help, Coach. greatly appreciate your help. I also want to thank uh, Jean and Todd, her, Jean Ringwood and Todd Hirsch for keeping all of our student athletes uh, safe and uh, you know, working through all the ever-changing COVID protocols and thinking, keeping our sports uh, stakeholders safe because we know if we kept our student athletes safe, they would go home to a safe environment too. Um, I also, and want to also thank our, our head coaches, you know, for professionally navigating all the safety protocols, supporting our student athletes. I know the hard work and commitment, uh, you know, allowed our student athletes to compete. And I know how much that meant to them and how important it was. I believe it was a critical to their school year and, and you were a big part of that and making sure that that happened. Um, finally, in closing, I wanna uh, thank and congratulate all of our Spring Varsity Awards letter winners. Um, best of luck to our class of uh, 2021 seniors. Yes, two days you will be graduating. and. Uh, but once you know this, and I hope you always remember that once a Highlander, always a Highlander, you'll always be welcome back. And I look forward to seeing you and hearing all about your wonderful accomplishments in the future. Thank you, coaches. And this concludes our presentation tonight. And I look forward to seeing everyone in the future. Thank you.